Hi, welcome to my next video. This time a big concept-like illustration that I did recently, I wanted to give you a quick tour how I made it. Okay, so the first step was a quick sketch in my sketchbook, the MD Paper Cotton Sketchbook. I did a few of these to try this idea that I had in my head and the biggest one I colored really roughly with watercolors to check if this scene will work. Then to make it even closer to what I wanted, I edited this sketch in Photoshop. I corrected the colors, added stuff, moved stuff, until I found that this actually can be a nice base for an illustration. Next step is the digital rough of the lines. I used Procreate for this. I wanted clean lines for this illustration, but also wanted to try some things with the characters. I did not have a decided character style for this illustration at this stage, so while doing the line art in Procreate I experimented a bit with the design and what characters I would like to put in this scene, mostly to make it look alive and interesting and also natural. So it doesn't look like I just put some random characters in this background. When I had the line work down and I felt that it looks okay, I printed it and then traced it with fountain pens to watercolor paper using waterproof ink. For this I used three fountain pens with different size nibs. I used the Indigraph EF nib, I used the Platinum President F nib and I used the Lamy M nib to have different line thicknesses for things that are more closer to the camera and more detailed or farther away with thinner lines so it looks like things are farther away. This is what I have been doing a lot with pencils. I have been using softer pencils with thicker and blacker lines for things that are closer to the camera and also pencils of harder grades like H or 2H which give fainter lines for things that are further away. So I wanted to try if I can also do something similar with fountain pens of different thicknesses and I think in this piece it worked actually really well. And I had a lot of fun also trying to keep the line loose, not to make it too stiff and straight, especially on things like the buildings and the bridge, I tried to keep the line alive, because for me I think the line and its kind of purpose is to show the shape of things and what things are and not to be perfect. So the lines don't have to be straight, but they have to show the viewer what this thing is what it's made of uh, is it soft is it hard are the edges kind of really like perfectly sharp or the wood is already weathered and the edges are kind of roundish so always rather than keep the lines perfect i try to make them say something and to express something and I think it's easier for me to do this when I'm drawing by hand. So even if I use the dead digital drawing phase to decide what the shape of things are and what's going to be in the picture, doing the lines again with my fountain pens allows me to focus on making each line tell the thing that I want it to. Okay, and I'm also using here waterproof ink so I can go with my watercolors and color the whole thing using the digital sketch as my guide and also I knew from the start that probably here I will have to use white opaque paint so poster color paint to do some of the bright details in the dark sky and in the river so I started to do the watercolors with this in mind already okay so let me talk a bit about what I'm doing here this picture came about because I wanted to do something with a story in it this is what I have been focusing on this year, making things with story in it, making stories, making ideas for comics, making ideas for longer stories, but also I wanted to go back to this illustration making that allowed me to convey a bit of a story in just one picture. I did some series of illustrations like the Yokohama series or the Bicycle Boy series, which had a kind of small piece of a story in each of the illustrations and I wanted to do something like that again but being more conscious about the storytelling part. So I went through all the photos that I had in my library of photos that I took in Japan myself and I chose these that felt like they have a bit of a backstory to them even though this is just one photo that I took somewhere. Among these photos was one that I took in Kyoto in Arashiyama. 
after a kind of storm that caught me there and the sky was still dark and cloudy but the foreground was already brightly lit and from this base I tried to make a story and convey it with only one illustration. I could make it into a small comic or something like a series of illustrations but I think that trying to convey as much as I can of the story with just one illustration is a great exercise. Ok, I'll leave you to watch the rest of me painting and I'll meet you at the end of the video. Okay, so the last step of this process was to make some highlights. I used poster color, white poster color paint mixed with watercolors to add highlights on the river and to add some things floating through the air on the dark background of the clouds. Okay, and this is how the illustration turned out. I just did a bit of color balancing in Photoshop, but the rest is just as I painted it with watercolors. Okay. I hope you liked this video, I had a lot of fun painting this one, it has been a long time since I did a big watercolor illustration like this featuring characters and I really wanted to try it again. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon, it's your support there that allows me to do my original projects like this one and make the videos. See you in the next one, bye!